Hi Mola. I am Tom Tikwa. I am a filmmaker and I'm from Berlin in Germany. And I'm doing what I'm doing because I like it. And because uh, what I think is important to mention uh, is that saying that I'm a filmmaker doesn't say anything. Because a filmmaker implies I am making film, which I am actually not. Because actually what I'm doing is I'm talking, I'm speaking to many, 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 many people who then do the film, who then do make the film, they make the film. I just try to make them enjoy it or have uh, great ideas or encourage them to be brave, to jump off a rooftop like actors or to throw the camera into the mud like a cinematographer or to... But I mean, I don't even come up with that. I don't come up with that idea. They come up with the idea. I say like, how can we make it more physical? And then they throw the camera into the mud. Or, um, so I'm, uh, what I'm basically doing is I'm like this child in this space where there's all these people and I'm having this extremely long wish list of things that I would like to see or experience or exchange with them. And um, they have their own wish list with what they enjoy doing and what they enjoy showing or experimenting with and we're basically comparing our wish lists and we're showing them to each other and then we try to make those wishes happen and um, I'm not doing much I'm just then applauding when it happens because they do it and I guess what I'm saying with all this is that I'm doing what I'm doing because I know that uh, I feel like most people should be trying to do something that they're good at. And uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to, uh, to even, I mean, find out what you're good at anyways and then also to accept that this is what you're good at and not the 50 other things you would dream of being good at or what your parents were hoping you'd be good at or what any other super ego is expecting from you but uh, just what you think yourself of being good at which I realized over the course of time that I'm relatively good at c communicating dreams or dreamlike spaces or fantasies to others and in a manner that is more less demanding and more exploring or sharing. So what we're doing is we're sharing dreams and I'm a good dream sharer. And um, so I found something to do for myself that is uh, quite liberating, sometimes threatening or frightening but never uh, not me, or rarely, except when it comes to the money part, which unfortunately is quite an issue on filmmaking. Um, and the question was, what, what am I doing? Why, what would I be doing if I wasn't doing what I'm doing? I guess I would be talking as much as I'm talking nowadays with uh, less happiness. But I'm, I know what, I mean, probably the question implies, for me the question can only imply the fact that the weird thing in Western society is that we are sort of asked by the system to define ourselves at, an, at a certain age, usually in the 20s, 
we're asked to say, this is me, this is what I do, this is who I'm with, this is what I am. And I find that very much an idiotic structure of life because it usually also leads to the fact that we learn something and then we do this for the rest of our life. Uh, not, I mean, ignoring the fact that we are actually quite interested in learning other things or maybe even leading a slightly different life after 10 or 20 years or changing subjects in our professions or changing professions or changing ourselves, which only to a limited degree is possible, but yes, to some degree it is. And um, so, you know, me being my age, I've been in these places, even though I have a job that I love, I have had moments where I feel like, oh, what happens? Oh, I'm starting to feel like that there might be a moment when I'm, when I feel like I've actually said everything there might be to say in this particular space of profession and what am I going to do and uh, I realized that there's quite many things I could be doing and I started to do something already <laughs> not like a, as a backup but only for the sake of expanding my very tunnel like existence and I went to Kenya, I actually followed my wife who works in Kenya in, a, in an NGO and she's doing art education for kids. So I ended up going there and I wanted to support her in organizing it. And guess what happened? I ended up making films in Kenya now with young aspiring filmmakers because I realized that's what I'm good at. <laughs> 